Hello and a warm welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Scotsman1984. Today is a very special review. This is an RCW 6A, the Ration Cold Weather 6A. Okay, so this RCW is menu number 6 and each menu should come with an A and a B. And there's the B. So these are basically, this is a day's ration. You have, on this one, these are a bit older, so they have uh, everything on the outside. These were made by Right Away Foods, McAllen, Texas. And you can tell what's in this. There's an instant oatmeal, and there's a nut raisin mix, a cocoa beverage powder, beverage base apple cider, a fruit bar, instant soup, crackers, an accessory packet in a spoon. Now, if I turn this 6B around, you can see then that it has chili with beans, oatmeal cookie and granola bar, powder beverage base orange, oatmeal cookie, chocolate covered, a tea mix, instant candy in a spoon. So you can see the accessory packets in this one. As you'll need it as you open this one first. And then there's basically a, a main entree meal with lots of uh, snacks and tea and in here you have your oatmeal to start off the day soup and crackers and uh, a fruit bar and stuff to uh, to get you through lunch and a nice big if you obviously you could open this one if you wanted to to get the stuff out but from what I gather oatmeal cookie chocolate covered is supposed to be the one thing in these that no matter what holds up and is one of the best rated desserts um, from a ration as far as I can tell. So today I will open the 6A and we will review the whole of the 6A in this video and then the 6B will be the next video. So let's open this up. Now I don't know if there's any date codes on it. I don't think there's date codes on the outside of these. I don't know if they're I don't think they were printed the same way until uh, later on. So this is the old style where you have a tear notch and there's not one on the bottom, there's just one on the top. So I've never opened one of these before, I've only ever seen it a review. So I'm not 100% sure what to expect. I'm not going to bother cutting with the tear notch. What I'm going to do is I want to preserve the bag a little bit. So I'm going to make sure nothing's there and I'm going to cut along. Didn't cut the start very well. So there is our RCW. So I'm just going to take it all out. I like to keep the bag because this is a very interesting ration. I'll probably never get to see one of these again. Now everything's white in here. So we have our crackers. And I believe the date code is 6045. So this could be 1996 or it could be 2006. My guess is it'd be a 1996. Well, I, I assume that's what it is, but we will do some checking and we'll see. We have blueberry bars and that'll be the, I'll just uh, show you the crackers. Yep, and the blueberry bars, date code is 6012 and that would be under the fruit bar, I would assume. So there we go. We have our nut and raisin mix ration cold weather, 180 grams, sorry, 108 grams. And there's peanuts, raisin, walnuts, almonds, filberts, which are peanuts and walnuts coated with edible shellac. And that is a solid mass, 6041. So it is definitely that is the right, I'm giving these date codes right. And that is a solid mass vacuum packed. And we have our cocoa beverage powder. So yeah, cocoa beverage powder, nut raisin mix. And this is a Transpacker Service Corp from Brooklyn. And it requires six fluid ounces. I'll just let you see the does have ingredients on that. And this is a date code of 6022. It's a very weird it's like that hasn't been cut properly and we have these are type one 
and we have a, another cocoa beverage powder, type 1, exactly the same. Let's just see, 6022, yes, exactly the same date code. Cocoa beverage powder. Apple cider, RCW, 50 grams, half a canteen cup or of hot or cold water. And this was the Transpacker Service Corp in Brooklyn again. And this is a 6029. Now I believe that these are very sought after. The apple cider, they don't do them anymore. They stopped doing them to the annoyance of most of uh, the US military, I believe. I think they were uh, very, very popular. So it's a privilege to get to try one of these. Now this is a new style MRE spoon. I'm sure that's it. as of the new style. Yep, exactly the same. Uh, you can tell how many of these rations are, how many MRIs have done. I keep the spoons. Um, so yeah, it's a new style MRI spoon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when they changed over to that. We have a soup instant. It's uh, very crispy, and I don't know. It doesn't say what it is. And that's the Right Away Foods McAllen, Texas, and it has a date code of 6059. And there's our accessory packet, and that is 6059. Again, Right Away Foods, and it's on both sides. And we have a massive bag here of instant oatmeal, maple and brown sugar, and at 8 ounces of hot water, sealed with closure device, which I assume is in the uh, accessory packet and w wait one minute oh look at that optional crumbled granola bar which I believe will be in the 6B yes the granola, granola bar so you could crumble the granola bar into here or the apple cider may be added for variety that's interesting. I didn't. I'd never seen that before. That would be interesting. And this has a date code of six zero three eight. So let's open this accessory packet. And that was six zero five nine. Let's open this up. Oh, hello! Look at this. A tootsie roll. Brilliant. And we have one toilet paper, two toilet papers, as it is a, this accessory pack for the 6A and 6B, so it's a, a sort of all-day ration, so that's why there's two, just like the LRP, there's two uh, toilet rolls. And a second Tootsie roll. We have creamer substitute, dry non-dairy. Ah, Taster's Choice. Now I believe this is the uh, the red Taster's Choice that are very common to uh, get mould. There must have been a, something that Nestle did or something that they just didn't survive the way they should. So this will be interesting to see if it's okay. So the red Taster's Choice. And the uh, Domino 6 gram sugar. matches slightly older style and we have our chiclets and our devices for the oatmeal which I believe is scrunch up and twist round so there's our accessory packet okay so we're quite confident um, that this is a 1996 I did double check with RC Gusto and we're quite confident there's a 96 and everything tends seems to be early 96 and um, there was something I'm sure had a 5 and it was very late 1995 so the food in this is over 20 years old it's almost 21 years old at time of filming uh, yeah so this will be the oldest uh, some of the oldest food I've ever eaten um, certainly the oldest, oldest ration I've ever had I think the oldest British ration that I had was is 10 years old, a 2006, uh, 2004, sorry, made 2006 uh, 
ration. So let's start with this. This is the nut and raisin mix, 108 grams, and it's peanuts, raisins, walnuts, almonds, filberts, peanuts and walnuts coated with edible shellac. So let's get a bit closer on the bottom there. There we go. That one's open. Oh, so <laughs> that's. Uh, it's kind of the reasons that are in there uh, I've kind of glued some of the stuff around it but that still smells still smells okay so let's try playing this out so so far they just they look okay there's no Discoloration, they've not gone black. However, the raisins have not fared as well and they've turned into one solid gloopy mass. Interesting. But the rest of the product, apart from the raisins, the rest of the product, the, all these small peanuts. They don't smell bad at all. I thought there might be a horrible smell to that, but nope, that's uh, smelling quite good. So let's try the crackers, and these have a date code of 6045, so the 45th day of 1996. And these are uh, Rightway Foods McAllen, Texas. So, the, uh, yeah, these, uh, well, these will be interesting. They're just normal crackers. Let's. We should get a hiss, hopefully. Yep. Let's see how these are fared. For a 20 year old cracker. Now, if you've seen Steve 1989, you'll know that he's eaten something that's over 100 years old, a heart attack, so, and survived. So, hopefully, these have. Uh, for a 20 year old, they've not got much damage. Let's. Uh, See how they smell. Oh, well, they don't smell any different. Blueberry bars, and these are six zero one two, so twelfth of January in nineteen ninety six. Right way, foods McAllen, Texas again. You can see some. Uh, oh. They smell alcoholic. <laughs> they smell uh, like Christmas pudding um, with the brandy in it. The blueberries, you see there's some crystal, I don't know if you can, how well you can see this, it looks like crystallisation on it. And they, uh, they absolutely smell like Christmas pudding. So we have our Tootsie Roll with two of these in the accessory pack. So from what I can tell, these have not changed logo. The Tootsie Rolls that you can buy across here now, um, they're not in the shops, like, you know, every shop, um, just people that are specialised American foods. Um, they look exactly like the ones that are being sold at the moment. So, I wonder... Five, three, three, nine. If that's a date code like the... Uh, the rest, if if they're using a, a sort of MRE sort of date code, 5339, that would be, and yeah. So we've got Tootsie Roll, which looks okay. Wonder, smells okay, it smells like a Tootsie Roll. Uh, we are going to try, I'm going to try the chewing gum, because if it is 20 year old, this will be the oldest chewing gum I've had. And they seem fine. They just so far, it's apart from some of the smells here and the raisins. It's it looks quite new, if you know what I mean. Um. So we have three drinks. We have our soup instant, our apple cider, and our cocoa beverage powder. So I'm going to do the cocoa hot, soup hot, and we'll do a cold apple cider. Let's get 340 mils.
and if you can see it's a white powder with little flecks and it smells burnt it smells like a burnt something that's burnt some sort of burnt food is what it smells like so let's stir that up So we have our cocoa beverage powder and on this one it says 6 fluid ounces, a quarter canteen cup. So 6 fluid ounces is probably about 150, yeah, 170 mils I'd say. So that's close, oh, let's pour that into my cup. I'm not sure why these have got a... a a bit that seems to have not been cut. They're all the same. I don't know if that's a, a way to open it, but there is tear marks, so I would have, I wouldn't have thought so. So the powder in that is completely fine. Now for the hot, it just says to add it to the six ounces of hot water. For the cold mix, it says mix up contents with about one fluid ounce of water to make a smooth paste and then add the remainder of cold water and still until blended. So it does advise you to do it two different ways for hot and cold. You can see there that it's not fully reconstituted. There is a lot on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more hot water and we're going to leave that just now and see if any more because at the moment there's lots of bits that haven't uh, dissolved properly so if we leave that hopefully it will and we'll give it a start again and for the instant soup there is no instructions on here I'm just going to go with probably a mug about just over six ounces unless there's another package in here let's see uh, 6059 on that Oh, you know what? That's the reason. There is another package in here, and this is Lipton Instant Soup Chicken Needle, Chicken Needle, Chicken Noodle with white meat. Um, and you see a bit of discoloration, discolorization in there. I think that might be the noodle inside. It uh, looks like that might be what that is, or bits of chicken or something. And there you go. Uh, so six ounces of boiling water. Um, so noodles are tender. So let's see what this looks like inside. So this is obviously an American branded cup of soup. All the powder seems fine in, in these so far. So that's about six ounces there. Give that a little stir, that's fine. And we'll leave that to do its thing. As it says. So that just leaves one more thing for this. And it's the instant oatmeal, maple and brown sugar. It says, add eight ounces a third of a canteen cup of hot water sealed with closure device wait one minute so you don't need to leave this for long so we keep it in here um, it does say you can crumble uh, the granola bar or apple cider into here um, for a variety but we, I want to try this the way it is so I'm not going to um, 603 on the date code so let's hopefully tear this open okay uh, that's perfect oh right now I need to be careful with this because I think this could go everywhere. All oh, right, so it opens that way. So there we go. So that's a a lot of oatmeal in there. So six ounces of water into there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use hot water. Sorry, eight ounces. Don't get me wrong there. So I'm going to use. Well, lukewarm, I'm going to do some cold and some hot into there. Oh, 
Here's the closure device. There we go. Let's leave that there. So we don't have a... Just in case the bag doesn't hold up, at least it'll be on the tray. It says just to leave it for a minute, so let's just make sure that all oh, there's a lot of powder still not mixed. And we'll just leave that for a minute. So just it just says to leave for a minute on this one. It's nice hot water that lukewarm. It's well, it's more boiling than lukewarm. It's straight out of the kettle that's been boiled. But we'll uh, very sludgy now. So that bag's held up really well. Here we go. So I added a lot, a little bit more water there, and it has uh, all dissolved into the powder that was still dry there. So there we go. It's certainly dissolved a bit better now. So we'll start with this apple cider. And it has a, a cidery smell to it, a nice uh, Magner's smell to it. So let's try that. That is beautiful. What a taste. That is just like a very expensive apple juice. Kind of, it's so perfect. There's, you know, it's not too sweet, um, and the, but there's a sweetness there. I'm really impressed with that. I can see why that was uh, so popular. Oh, it smells brilliant as well. It's just absolutely brilliant. We'll try this, uh, the cocoa. Oh, chocolate. It doesn't smell too, it doesn't smell too chocolatey. So, it's not a very strong chocolatey taste, but it's just right. It's not sweet at all. There's a, obviously a sweetness with the chocolate, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. It's not like they've added loads of extra sugar. Well, it's quite nice. So let's try our chicken noodle Linton cup of soup. And it's just a, a branded cup of soup. And it's got an artificially artificial chicken smell to it. Not much taste to that. It's um, There's not much chicken flavour to that at all. It's okay. Um... But obviously it depends on how old it is. If it's ten, twenty years old, it might have lost some of its flavour. It's okay though. I I wouldn't. I would. I'll quite happily drink the, the rest of that. So, while it's still hot, let's try this uh, oatmeal, and it is a uh, maple and brown sugar. So, let's uh, guess so it doesn't drip everywhere. Just nice and stodgy. And it has a, it does have a sort of maple syrup smell to it. So here we go. So that reminds me of Ready Brick across here. I don't know if it's something you get in the States. It has a taste of a, like a, a sort of golden syrup Ready Brick. I think that's what the one that they released. Um, that is really good. I quite, I'm quite enjoying that. Nice and reconstituted. Um, so it did need a bit more water, I think, yeah. Um, it's a lot thicker um, in the middle there. It's where there's more of the oats, I suppose. Um, but that is that is tasting absolutely brilliant. That certainly hasn't lost any of its flavour. So let's try these very brittle crackers. And they have a, a maybe a. They don't smell stale. It's just, they, they smell like, the, the, I think, the, the other crackers that are, uh, it's a cardboardy smell, but it's, they do not st smell stale, so let's uh, try these out. They taste absolutely brilliant. They they taste quite nice. They taste better than the, the crackers in the MRE. They're, uh, they don't taste bad at all. They taste fresh, uh, crispy. And uh, they're not a very strong flowery, but they do not taste bad at all. They've uh, they've lasted well. So let's have a look at these nuts then. So I can't see anything wrong with these nuts, apart from the fact that the raisins have uh, have turned into some sort of 
alien from Star Trek. Uh, they just look like black tar. So we'll try these uh, these nuts here and we'll see what they're like. They they just smell like unsalted peanuts, unsalted nuts. That's exactly how they smell. They don't smell bad and there's no blackness to them at all. So they just have a very bland flavour to them. There's no there's no real flavour and um, there's no bad taste to them. I'd uh, I'd be very brave if I was to to try one of these raisins. I just I just got a raisin there. It is absolutely solid there. Let me get it to focus. That raisin's held up a bit better than these uh than it's than that. So I think I'll have No, I've just bitten it. I've just done it. You know that it's <laughs> it just it bit off like I'm giant raisin. It just like it, the texture seems okay on it. It tastes like a raisin, and there's no real aftertaste on that, um, like a bad aftertaste. So I don't know what's happened to them. I don't know if they've got hot, and I, I have no idea. They're under a vacuum seal, so I have no idea what happened to them. But they. Uh, <laughs> Funny enough, the raisin tastes fine. Um, the raisin, maybe it's just, maybe it was just the biggest raisin that was ever uh, found. Who knows? So these that smell like alcohol, and it's the uh, blueberry bar. They really do have a Christmas pudding, brandyish smell to them. So let's open it up. See. So it just, I don't know if the. Yeah, the, the colour is very black. We'll, uh, we'll give it a try and see. It doesn't just smell the same on the inside. So, it doesn't taste bad. There's a, a slight weird taste to it. But it doesn't taste bad, it just tastes like the fruit's obviously been sitting about for a while. Excuse me, dog's outside. It just tastes like the fruit's uh, been sitting about for a while. So, you know, it's it's not that bad at all. So let's try this Tootsie Roll. Let's see, it's still malleable, malleable. It hasn't gone solid. Let's try that. That tastes perfectly fine. It just tastes like a Tootsie Roll. And we have our chocolates and see if these taste okay. So yeah, those those ch the chewing gums fine. The chocolates are fine. A bit harder than normal, but once you you chew the whole thing up, it, it goes together and turns into a nice bit of chewing gum. So this is uh, surprisingly for what I thought would might be quite disgusting has turned out okay. Nice flavour still there. Everything seems to have been okay except for the raisin. But the raisins don't taste bad. The nuts don't taste bad. This I don't know. It looks black. I don't know. It's and it's it's crystallised on the end there that you can see. So I don't know if I would eat that, but. Certainly going to eat this uh, this oatmeal because that tastes absolutely brilliant. The crackers and the soup will go together well, and I cannot wait to drink this as well because that apple, apple cider, I can imagine this would taste absolutely lovely warmed up. So there we go. There's the uh, RCW six A. Um, we'll taste the the coffee and we'll check the coffee, I should say, um, and hopefully we'll taste it if the red packet, which uh, is quite known for mould. So even if I've got the date wrong and this is in 1996, uh, 2006, which I doubt it is, I'm pretty sure this is 96. Um, we'll see, this is, I mean it just seems to have survived so well, it's obviously been looked after. So this was uh, sent to me by RC Gusto, uh, most of you will know RC Gusto because he sent most of you to, uh, towards me. If you've not seen him, please go check him out, the link will be in the description below to his uh, channel. So. There we go, uh, a 20 year old, just over 20 year old, nearly 21 year old ration and it tastes absolutely brilliant. So that was the RCW 6A, thanks for watching guys, um, give me a comment, uh, any questions I'll try and answer, a like, dislike and thank you very much for watching. Take it easy guys, we'll see you later, bye bye.